What's up everybody, Terry Warfield, man. Hope you're having a good day so far. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome, I do motivational vlogging and I love talking about all things tech. So if you like that type of stuff, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you get notified when new videos go up. And to the squad, if you in the comments, make sure you drop a hashtag up in here. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Today, we're talking about the new Kickstarter program called SwitchPod, all right? So SwitchPod is this dope little device that goes from table tripod to handheld vlogging device and back in literally like two seconds. And it's being marketed as the Gorilla Pod Killer. Now, before I get into anything, man, huge shout out to the guys over at SwitchPod. It's so dope watching the idea start and then come together and be ready for production within 15 months. That is freaking amazing. You guys did a great job with SwitchPod, and just so you guys that are watching this know, I did not receive a review unit from SwitchPod. I honestly just wanted to share my opinion because let's just be honest, today SwitchPod been popping, all right? Because I didn't get one, I can only talk from what I've seen. You understand that? So don't go saying like you haven't reviewed the blah, blah, blah. Duh, I don't have one yet. So again, SwitchPod is this little device that has a curve to it so you can hold it out like a Joby, more on that in one second, and do your vlogging with, but in a situation where you need a tripod, you literally just open it up and the spring flips the three legs open and then you got a table tripod. How dope is that, right? And I can't really say it's like reinventing the wheel because it's not, but it's certainly making the turn better and that's what great inventions are all about. So yeah, switch pod, is a dope little device, but let me tell you the things I like about it so far, okay? I really like, from what I've seen, again, I don't have a unit yet, I really like how it's made out of all metal, so it shouldn't be something that you have to worry about breaking and stuff like that, as long as it's crafted good and it's good quality, which is obviously to be seen or determined because only a few people have them. I wasn't lucky enough. I'm not like, you know, my channel ain't big enough to have gotten one. So look, guys over at SwitchBot, if you guys do want to send me one, I'll be more than happy to test it out and review it. Again, much love. So, but but anyways, y'all know I keep it real. I love how when it folds up, it's literally like not even the thickness of a book. And that's dope because you can literally just slide it into like the, the little crevice left of your book bag and it'll fit, right? So the one thing I don't like about SwitchPod is how it's being marketed as a Joby Gorilla Pod. Where's my Gorilla Pod? as a Joby Gorilla Pod replacement. People are saying stuff like, never gonna use my Joby again, blah, blah, blah. Listen, personal preference is personal preference, but comparing apples to apples here, you guys know it. I mean, they don't necessarily have the best track record when it comes to reliability and durability, but what they did with the Joby Gorilla Pod was dope, right? They have this pod that you can turn into a table tripod if you want to once you finish making an infinite number of adjustments to get it to stand up straight. But where this thing really shines is when you have, like if you're out in public and you need to put your camera on something and you don't have like a tripod, you can wrap the legs around like a tree branch or anything like that and it will hold your camera steady. That's where this thing excels at. The problem with the Joby is again, people have broken cameras, not to say that they haven't broken cameras on other setups, but these little pieces break off, right? Uh, they also have had some issues in the past with reliability when it comes to the actual plate or the head of the Joby. So I haven't had any issues with mine. I know a ton of people who use them who don't have issues either, but that's not to say that they're not without issues, but then again, everything that gets mass produced has issues. So being fair, I don't know if they have more issues than any other platform out there, okay? But calling a switch pod a replacement for this, I think is bad marketing. And, and I get it, right? I get it. They gotta hype it up. I understand that. It's a new product. They gotta get the attention going X, Y, Z. But all things being fair, if I'm going to the park and I know that the only tool I wanna bring is some type of holder for my camera and the camera, I'm likely gonna bring the Joby because, it, because I just have more flexibility when it comes to like wrapping this around or making it sit up on a rock or something like that. Whereas the switch pod won't have that ability because the legs are fixed. Now, for people that do wanna vlog, yes, I think it can be better because, you know, us vloggers, this is what we usually do. We get the Joby, we, we do like this, this, this C curve and put the camera right here so that we can hold it out like that. Well, the SwitchPod already has that curve built into it. So I think the SwitchPod 
is not a replacement. I think it's more of a companion. This can do stuff the Switch Pod can't do. But on the flip side, the Switch Pod has that ability to just not have to fumble around with the legs and all that stuff. You literally just open one and it kind of does this, this ninja move in. And then you can literally just sit the Switch Pod down and the camera down. I think my biggest issue with the whole campaign and it's not an issue because again, they had to raise money to fund this project. I think they needed to make like 100,000 to start production. They blew that out the water. And I mean, bravo y'all, congratulations. Y'all blew that out the water. But I wanna talk about the price, okay? So if you go on the Kickstarter campaign's website for SwitchPod, one little detail is the retail price is about to be $99. And that to me, I don't know if if maybe it's just because Kate is, is is new and they need to raise money quickly for it. Joby, I think the Joby 5K is only like $79.99. Um, I don't feel like it offers me anything more than a Joby does. A hundred bucks to me for a new device that's not necessarily bringing anything new to the market when the competition is cheaper than a hundred bucks. It's, it's like to me, like I would think that this will come in at a sweet spot, maybe around like 50 or 60 bucks. Then I would then, hey, here's my money. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I think they're gonna have to come down on that price. Not a whole lot. I don't believe in undervaluing what you do, but I think a hundred bucks is a little too steep. Time will tell. Yo, guys over at SwitchPod, man, like I said, if you guys are willing to send me one, I'll be more than happy to review it. And I will probably use the mess out of it because I do a lot of vlog. But calling it a Joby killer, I can't I can't agree with that because it's not a Joby killer. It's a Joby um, companion. I think it goes great in the camera bag. I think everybody needs both in their camera bag for the different purposes. So that's what I think about SwitchPod. Again, congratulations to you guys over at SwitchPod, man. Great job, I'm happy for you guys. And it's projects like these that inspire me to keep my ideas flowing because this shows you that no idea is dumb or too small. All it takes is execution and that's all it is. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out some of my new content. It's always new content coming support share all of that stuff i really appreciate it you already know i can't grow without your help and that's all i got for you today peace and chicken grease terry warfield peace